Welcome to the channel everybody. Now in that earlier video I was talking about putting finish line on your threads for your spacers, coma correctors, and what have you. And if you watch that I show you how to do it. It's not like gooping it on there. And that provides some lubricant in order to make it easier to remove. However, you might have a situation like this to where you had put this on prior to putting on finish line or let's say you did put on finishing line but it's still tight and you can't get it off and i've had this one for a while i showed this in the video and at that time i was still trying to figure out how to get this off but folks i figured out a way to get this off without destroying it and the simple solution is using a stainless steel hose clamp so let's take a look at this So what I came up with was to take a stainless steel hose clamp and put it over the small spacer, being sure not to clamp the other one so that it's separated. And so you go all the way around and take a good look, make sure you've got that separation, cinch it down. Then you may not need this step, but I find that it helps. Take a pair of nice clean rubber gloves or rubber lined gloves of some kind. Now you've got something to grab a hold of, and you've got this knuckle here too. So it gives you a lot more leverage. And then you can grab them like that and just break them like that. And it opens up. Look at this, guys. And what's cool about it is you don't mar this little one. In the past, I've had to remove them and, you know, save the other one and pretty much destroy the smaller one with channel locks or something like that. But look at this. In perfect shape not deformed, not chewed up, and ready to use on something else, separating these two. Guys, I don't know about you, but this to me, <laughs> this is a victory. This is a victory, because I've been struggling with this for the longest time, uh, thinking about how to remove that and trying to remove it in different ways without destroying it. And finally, it came to me. So if you're running into a problem removing a small little spacer, now you know what to do. Get a stainless steel hose clamp, put it around there, and break it, and you're golden. I love these kinds of solutions. They, they make the problem worthwhile. You know what I'm saying? All right. So thanks for tuning in to the channel, and another tip for y'all, and uh, clear skies, and y'all stay safe.